Altaf Hussain Bengali Altafa Hosaina Urdu Altaf the 26th of January 1900 to the 15th of May 1968 was an eminent East Pakistani educationist journalist and Pakistan movement activist He is noted as one of the pioneers of print journalism in Pakistan and was the founding editor and the first editor in chief of English language newspaper Don which he edited for almost 20 years in addition, he served as Industry Minister of Pakistan in the administration of President Ayub Khan from 1965 until resigning in 1968 due to health reasons. He is widely regarded as one of the key activists in the Pakistan movement and penned several critically important articles in support of the case of Indian Muslims in British Indian Empire. Biography <inaudible> <inaudible> Education and government work Altaf Hussain was born in Silhet, Silhet district, British India now Bangladesh into a family of Muslim Bengali zamindars, on 26 January 1900. After receiving his education from MC College in Silhet, Hussain moved to Calcutta to attend the University of Calcutta where he studied English language. He earned a BA in English from Calcutta University and moved to Dhaka. He attended the Dhaka University where he studied English literature and subsequently earned an MA in English language from University of Dhaka. Upon his graduation, he joined the Kolkata Municipal Government where he became Director of Public Information from 1942 until 1943. He later proceeded to join the Indian Ministry of Information as press advisor. Although, he worked for the Indian government, he subsequently began to write political articles in the newspaper Statesman, Calcutta, penning the fortnightly column through the Muslim eyes", under the pen name, Ain el Mulk, which reflected the Muslim point of view. <laughs> Pakistan movement and industry ministry Shortly thereafter, he left the Indian Ministry of Information and started to write a column, Dar el Islam, lit. Door of Islam, for the statesman but under the pen name, Shahid lit. Martyr. For a brief period of time, he also wrote columns for the Calcutta-based newspaper Star of India. During this time, his incisive writing won recognition and attention from Muhammad Ali Jinnah founder of Pakistan who had contacted him to meet him in his residency in Mumbai. Eventually, he was asked to take a position of editor-in-chief of the newspaper Don, which was founded by Jinnah in 1945. He took over the office in Delhi and began printing Don. As an editor in chief of Don, he came to public notice and prominence, and was admitted into Jinnah's close circle of advisors. In this capacity, he played a critically important role in the success of the Pakistan movement, which led to the creation of a separate homeland for the Muslims of the South Asia. After the establishment of Pakistan, he moved his senior staff from Delhi to Karachi while he continued his editorship of Don in Karachi and remained so from 1947 to 65. His influence as the founding editor of the Don, his role in the Pakistan movement and his extraordinary relationship with Jinnah meant that his was amongst the most influential voices outside the government. While defending East Pakistan's rights, he strongly assailed the idea of its separation from Pakistan. For some time, he joined the Faculty of Journalism at Karachi University to teach and instruct courses on journalism. In 1959, his services were recognized by the government of Pakistan and he was conferred with the Halal-e-Pakistan, in a public ceremony in 1959. In 1965, he was invited by President Ayub Khan to join the government, which he surprised many by accepting. Ultimately, he was appointed Industry Minister of Pakistan and oversaw the rapid industrialization as well as the process of privatization in Pakistan. He retained the ministry until 1968 when he resigned due to poor health. <laughs> death and legacy Altaf Hussain resigned from the industry ministry ten days before his death. He died on 25 May 1968 and was buried with state honours in Model Colony Cemetery. The street in Karachi where Don was first published is today known as, Altaf Hussain Road". Regarded as a model by young writers he excelled in the role of the Crusader. Don remarked eight years after his death, 
Altaf Husayn was basically a crusader, his chief weapon was his powerful pen. His commitment to the cause of the Muslims of this subcontinent was total, his loyalty to the Pakistan movement and its great leader unflinching and unshakable. Like every great fighter, he fought bravely and relentlessly. He gave no quarter and asked for none. And like every great editor, he was resented and loved, feared and respected, praised and derided. Alta Hussein joined Don, Delhi, as editor and plunged himself heart and soul in the titanic struggle for Pakistan. Soon his editorials became the most important exposition of the Muslim League point of view. He wrote with passion, and argued with rare force, clarity and perseverance. Don became the focal point of League politics. It had the blessings of the Quaid himself and was managed by no less a person than Liaquat Ali Khan. Altaf Hussain fought single-handedly all the great Congress newspapers and cast terror in the Congress camp. See also List of Pakistani journalists <laughs>